Hey, what's up? It is 10 to 9. I wrote my engineering professionalism test this morning and it was easy. I got like 88%. Silly module, really. Uh, the whole module was basically just talking about the Engineering Council of South Africa, the importance of regulating the profession and the importance of continued professional development as a professional engineer, which is cool, but I wouldn't have made a whole module about it. It's just so that the degree is properly accredited and that within engineering organization itself. Anyway, Clapped, clapped it, easy semester test, um, multiple choice. And I'm just studying now for electromagnetic compatibility tomorrow, which is a, a real course. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, just seeing numbers and uh, formulae flashing through my head the entire day. I've been doing the tutorial problems, but it's going well. Uh, it's at half past nine tomorrow morning, so I'm keen for it. And I'm going to get back to it. Yeah. I'm so tired. This is my study break today. Electromagnetic compatibility test went okay. I left out a lot of question five, but I answered the rest quite well, I think. And uh, got a study for computer engineering architecture this afternoon, as soon as this walk is over. Shush! I don't often hear a KG whimpering like that. Good morning. It is uh, quarter to six. I've been awake for a while studying for my computer engineering architecture test. It's at half past seven. Last test for end week, and then I'm free. Uh, probably going to take a lot of this weekend off. I really feel like I need it. I feel exhausted and not super uh, keen to do anything productive this weekend. I mean, I'm sure I'll do some stuff, but nice. it's going to be nice to chill a bit. Going to Pretoria to see some friends, um, doing some house sitting, uh, going to Darren's birthday party. <gasps> Darren's birthday today. Happy birthday, Darren. Um, this video will air, will air way after your birthday, but hope you had a good one. Um, yeah, let's have a, have a good day. What's up? I have uh, finished my end week. Um, it's actually much later in the day already because um, after I wrote my computer engineering architecture test this morning, I went to the mall with my mum, did some stuff with her because I haven't been spending a lot of time with her. Um, did a little bit of shopping, had some nice lunch. I'm off to see a friend now and go to gym because gym always comes first. Uh, test wasn't great this morning. He didn't set it super nicely. There was uh, some weird phrasing and the last question, you what got me, was on um, cash hit and miss, uh, it was like a big example of a cash hit and miss memory uh, diagram and I did not understand it properly and but he sent like seven corrections throughout the course of the test over telegram and you can't be expected to do a test when you're sending a correction to the one question ten minutes before the test is over um, so not everyone was happy but I think I did okay not wonderful but okay so let's uh, go see Taylor and have a good gym session yeah So we're here at James and Angie's uh, for lunch. Um, Angie definitely, <laughs> definitely needs to start a catering company. Yeah. Look at that. It's amazing. Thank you. Um, you need to film your own burger. Yeah, yeah, I'll burger. <laughs> it doesn't, burger. doesn't look as good. Pro <laughs> footage, because the last two weeks of filming has actually just been me inside my bedroom. Uh, okay. Hey, what's up? It is Monday afternoon today, and we actually have the day off from Varsity, which is really cool. I'm busy house sitting at the moment with Maria, but Maria's out right now, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to just tell you what happened this weekend. I had a really good weekend. Uh, after end week, I went straight to bed and then got up on Saturday morning and drove through to Pretoria. And I saw Maria and Cass and just a bit of chilling. 
And then I went to Darren's birthday party in the evening, which was really nice. I uh, hope you had a good birthday, Darren. Um, I'm, I know I mentioned it ages ago, but yeah, some really nice pictures we took out at Salsa, nice restaurant. And then on Sunday, um, pulled through back to Joburg and saw some other varsity friends. Jason had a braai. That was really cool. Took this picture as well. Just uh, cooked some meat up, uh, had a good time and relaxing after end week. Well, not everyone was relaxing. I know some of the guys are still working on their project, but uh, I was relaxing. I didn't do any work this weekend. That was nice. And right now I'm just doing uh, some, some work work for my job and uh, not doing any lectures because we have tomorrow, Tuesday off as well because it's Freedom Day tomorrow. So I am going to keep myself free from varsity work and just carry on working on this work because um, I've, I've neglected it a bit recently and been struggling to keep up with varsity work and this software engineering job. But doing my best, still learning lots, busy working with an Angular project right now which is cool, it's a bit complicated, but getting into it slowly. I see uh, SpaceX and them might launch my static fire uh, SN15 today, which I'm excited about. Uh, I, recently, <laughs> I recently updated my CV, and at the bottom of my CV, I put under interests uh, space flight and uh, rocket science as an interest, because like, it really has been, and I think the amount of times I've talked about it on the blog recently gives credence to the fact that I might just have to go into aeronautical engineering one day, or if not aeronautical engineering, maybe avionics or something to do with the space industry, because it's so damn interesting and so exciting. Yeah, let me get back to work, and we'll catch up later, maybe. Maria and I are out on a run. How are you doing? Good. It's a very steep hill ahead of us. It is a very steep hill ahead of us. Uh. Good afternoon vlog, what's up? I'm back at home with an update on how End Week went. I now have all of my marks for End Week. And it was a very mixed bag, very happy with some, very unhappy with some. So for EAI, Artificial Intelligence, I got 84%. I was very happy about that. For um, Engineering Professionalism, got 88%. It was a stupid easy test, uh, nothing really to say about that. Then for Computer Engineering Architecture, I got 52%, which I was kind of expecting low-key because it was a kind of okay test and it was it didn't set it that nicely and he was sending corrections halfway through the test and I, the whole last question, I didn't really know what was going on. So it was fair. I'm really glad I passed. And then for Electromagnetic Compatibility, EME, I got 51. That one I was a bit disappointed for. I thought I would have at least gotten a 60-something in that, but then I, I went and looked in that, and I did leave out one of the real, uh, like the 20-mark questions. Um, well, I didn't leave it out, but I, I didn't do one or two parts of it because I was running out of time, lots of time pressure in that test. So I hoped I could have done better in that, and I see like now the work for that is getting harder and harder. So it's going to be tough, and I got two 50s and uh, two 80s. Lol, that's really weird, actually. But um, that's engineering. Going to carry on grafting and hopefully do well in NGB2. And then, yeah, then the semester, if I just do okay with the practice, the semester should probably go okay. But I was just talking to um, my mate James, and we are saying we're going to have to work together later in the semester, because just working like we are right now by ourselves is really difficult and really tough, and it's like really tough to keep the motivation going to, to study and to do any kind of varsity work when you're sitting at your desk alone. So that's the plan for upcoming uh, weeks. I'm going to get back to posting the video I'm just posting. It's Friday afternoon, and yeah, talk to you later. So in an effort to further procrastinate this morning, I um, I've been playing around with the Teachable Machine. It's like a neural, a tra and trainable neural net uh, that Google offers just to play around with some basic TensorFlow uh, AI models. And it's really cool. You just add a whole lot of images to two different categories, and then you train the neural net. And so I've built just quickly a really li quick little uh, model that decides whether or not the person is flexing or not in frame. So it's, it was trained basically just on, on pictures from my webcam of me either flexing or not flexing. You can see when I'm further away from the camera, it says no flex. And when I put up a bicep, 100% flex. Flex, no flex. Flex, no flex.
kind of fit all the backwards flex down there. I don't know. It's weirdly trained with images and whether you're closer or not to the camera. Uh, but just like for teaching the importance of good sample data for neural nets and that, it's, it's a fun little thing to play around with.